You know, my favorites are Maniac. You know, Maniac is such a huge, giant crocodile, and I love working with that animal. He's so intelligent, he's so charismatic. He's just a treasure to work with. Yeah, hi, my name's Terry Phillip. I'm the curator of reptiles here at the Black Hills Reptile Gardens in Rapid City, South Dakota. Now, we're the Guinness World Record holder for the largest reptile zoo in the world. You can find hundreds of species of reptiles here. We have giant crocodiles, giant tortoises, giant snakes. We have little tiny snakes, we have little tiny lizards. We have amphibians and bugs. It's an amazing place. We have a, a huge number of some of the Guinness World Records uh, breakers here at the Reptile Gardens. I'm Chelsea. Um, this is Tank. He's a giant Aldabra tortoise, and he's 52 years old. I worked at Reptile Gardens for about five years, and I take care of these guys every day. They cover about 14 feet in 45 seconds. As far as working with them goes, um, them being slow actually helps us out a lot. We can get a lot done around them in the amount of time, but when it comes to moving them around, it's very hard <laughs> to get them to do what we want them to do. Um, but we do have a lot of time in the meantime to take care of other business. <laughs> Their favorite food is anything sweet, specifically watermelon. They haven't gotten watermelon all year. Um, and this is exactly how we got them to sit still for this whole interview process is by bribing them with sweet food. Their temperaments are uh, very different from one another, actually. Tank um, is kind of the more social, whereas Quasimodo and Orville uh, tend to keep to themselves a little bit more. So as a species, uh, these guys live to be usually around 130 years old. The oldest ever for an Aldabra tortoise was 152. Any child that's about five to 12 years old will be able to come back later in life and see the same tortoises with their children as well. In the wild, these guys are a threatened species, um, not endangered, which is really good, uh, and they are definitely becoming more populated every day. And I feel like places like this and places with giant Aldabra tortoises in general really help people become aware and focus on repopulation, and not just of their species, of other species. There's something beautiful about every species that we work with here. You know, everyone thinks that snakes are so scary and so misaligned, and, but honestly, they're just misunderstood. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the most venomous snake in the world. That's this snake right here. This snake is what we call an inland taipan. It's also known as a fierce snake. And they're found in, in the remote central parts of Australia. And this snake has the single most toxic snake venom in the world. Record venom yields of 110 milligrams of venom, and it's estimated only one milligram of this snake's venom to cause a human fatality. Frequently, when people are bitten by inland taipans, they will bleed from every hole in their entire body, from their eyes, their ears, their nose, the other end. You know, and in fact, you'll start to bleed from your gum line. And it also is followed up by a neurotoxic venom, and that venom is going to stop your ability to breathe paralyzes your chest cavity, and so you'll suffocate. It also has a powerful cardiotoxin in there that rapidly stops your heart. The simplicity of it is every single one of those animals in nature, snakes included, are beautiful animals that have their own little niche in the environment, and they belong there. We just need to learn how to appreciate it. Hi, buddy. Come out and say hello. Hi. Come here. Come on. That's a good boy. Guinness World Records longest venomous snake, the Hamadryad, also known as the King Cobra. Specimens of 12 to 15 feet are fairly common. However, the record back in the 1930s was an 18 and a half foot specimen. That's enormous. This particular guy right here is right about 13 feet. So she's got a little bit of growing to do yet. Now, king cobras are found throughout Southeast Asia, all the way down into Indonesia. This particular guy was found in mainland Malaysia. The hood of the king cobra is an elaborate defense display. It makes the, the snake look much larger, much meaner than what he really is. So that's the beauty of coming to a facility like the Reptile Gardens, is we give you an up close and personal tour of some of the world's most dangerous, misunderstood, and misaligned animals. And 
that's a great place to get over that little fear. All right, so now we're gonna be looking at the Guinness World Records fastest land snake. Of course, that's gonna be the African black mamba. Now the African black mamba has reached speeds of 16 to 19 miles per hour over flat level surface. However, fortunately, I have assured our cameraman six feet away that he won't cover that distance before I can stop it. So. Hey buddy, how you doing? Hi honey, you gonna come on out? I see you looking at me, hi. Well, come on out. Well, come on. Oh wait, you don't have any ears. You can't even hear me calling you. Come on over here. Now this here is the African Black Mamba, Guinness World Record for fastest land snake. These guys also quite likely have the record for the fastest human fatality from their snake bite. I saw a fairly reliable report of a human fatality in two and a half minutes. That's extraordinarily fast. Now this beautiful guy is the Guinness World Record titled for the slimmest lizard. It's called the Burton's Legless Lizard, found in Australia and New Guinea. And unlike a snake, these guys have fleshy tongues, they have ear openings, and also an eyelid or a retractable eye, neither of which the snakes have. This is the Gila Monster. This is the Guinness World Records title holder of the most dangerous lizard in the world. Now the Gila Monster is found in the desert southwest of the United States, and they are one of two lizards in the world that have a clinically significant venom. The venom of the Gila Monster is very similar to that of a rattlesnake, and in fact causes tremendous pain, swelling, and a drop in blood pressure. However, there, there are no true human fatalities recorded from the Gila monster. And they're a very timid lizard. They're found only for a few months out of the year. So properly left alone, they're a wonderful little uh, desert inhabitant. Good little neighbor to have. People think that this job is so tremendously dangerous, but realistically, as long as I pay attention to what I'm doing, I don't do anything that I'm not supposed to do, I don't show off and try to pick up girls or something silly like that, you know, there really is very little risk in my job. The mistakes that are made here are just that mistake. There's no such thing as an accident in our profession. In fact, throughout the world, there's no such thing as an accident. All those incidents for injury are mistakes. Someone made them. So my job is a job of perfection. I know the snake is there, right? I know how to handle that snake. And as long as I do my job right and well, I have very little to worry about. Any given week, I average between 800 and 1,000 interactions with venomous snakes. I do that every week. I've been doing it for 20 years. This is gonna be the Guinness World Record for the largest toad in the world. It's called the marine toad. It's also known as a cane toad in parts of its range. These guys naturally range throughout Central America, the Caribbean, and down into South America. Interestingly enough, this is probably the world's most in Oh, really? This is probably the, the world's most injurious species of toad. These guys have been transplanted, both intentionally and unintentionally, throughout most of the world. So, unfortunately, it was introduced into Australia, and now it, it eats everything in its path. These guys eat venomous snakes, they eat little crocodiles, they eat bugs, they eat other frogs. It's really one of the most, one of the saddest stories that we have of, of introduced species into other parts of the world. And an interesting thing about them is this little lump right here is called a teratoid gland. And when these guys are agitated and threatened, they will emit a little mucousy substance out of that gland. And in the way back olden days, people used to lick that secretion for a hallucinogenic effect. It's definitely not something I recommend. In fact, it can make you really, really sick and will actually kill many mammal species. I'm actually very excited to, to get my edition of the Guinness World Records. It's really going to be neat to crack open that book and see my ugly mug staring in there with a, with a bunch of animals, but really I'm excited for all of our staff here. This is a great opportunity for all of my staff to get their faces known, their passions out there, and show these wonderful reptiles to the entire world. I absolutely love every day that I come here um, and it's honestly the happiest part of my day when I get to spend time here especially with the giant tortoises and the other animals and helping people understand them. It's really cool. 